Hey, what's going on? My name is Officer Ronnie Esquivel, and thank you so much for tuning into our vlog. Today, we're gonna to be hanging out with the Valley Division Air Operations Unit. So we're gonna get a really cool opportunity to go up in our helicopter and our fixed wing. So you're gonna learn what it's like to be a California Highway Patrol officer working up in the sky. So let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Sergeant Duncan Jensen. That's me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Esquivel. Hey, Ronnie. Nice to have you out here. Welcome to Valley Division Air Operations Unit. Thank you so much for having us. We have a lot of viewers out there that really, really wanted the Air Ops vlog. Can you tell me a little bit about what your mission is? We cover 13 counties. So the airplane is mainly law enforcement. That's their mission. As a helicopter unit, our main priority is supporting the ground units. We also do search and rescue and EMS calls and assist allied agencies. So for our potential applicants that is interested in becoming a California Air Patrol officer, but more importantly, they want to get into an air operations unit, uh, what do they have to do? First of all, they're going to do two years on the road to three gain years. that experience. To become a pilot, 300 hours commercial and instrument rated in the aircraft that we fly, the GYPS G8 and then the H125 Airbus helicopters. So I know our viewers are going to ask this question, does the Highway Patrol put pilots through training? So the majority of our helicopter pilots and airplane pilots actually come to us with the 300 hours, but we do have a pilot training program as an option. What about the other side? There's a pilot and then there's another position inside each aircraft. We have a flight officer and we have paramedic in the helicopter and then the airplane is a technical flight officer, so they don't have to be a paramedic. The missions that we perform on a day-to-day -day basis can include EMS and rescue and medical in the helicopter, so they're required to be paramedics. Next two to five years, we have a huge turnover of people and we're looking for people to join us in air operations. Remember, you have to be an officer first for a minimum of two years. So in order to do that, you gotta go to chpcareers.com to submit your online application. You ready to do this? Yeah. Let's, let's go flying. It. This is helicopter pilot Dan Lewis. Hey, Ronnie Esquivel. Pleasure. Paramedic flight officer Mark Flores. Hey, Ronnie. Pleasure to meet you. And paramedic flight officer Jared Booth. Hey, hey Ronnie. Pleasure to meet you. So what are some of the daily duties that the flight officer paramedic have to do here in Air Ops? When we show up in the morning, we pre-flight the aircraft, make sure all equipment's ready to go. Okay. And after that, wherever the wind blows. From here, we cover 13 counties, providing law enforcement, rescue, and medical support. Primarily, we're assisting officers on the ground with uh, searches, helping look for people, vehicle pursuits. But then when it comes to search and rescue, the helicopter is such a great platform for us. The fire departments call for us, they'll have a lost hiker somewhere. The sheriff's office are in charge of search and rescue, so we're a great asset to them as well. So what do we have planned for today? Well, let's go. we got a couple surprises in store for you. I think you're going to have a good time. All right, let's do it. Yep, some pressures are good. start to scout areas and we could possibly use the landing site. All right, we just landed. Where are we at? Well, we're over here in Rock Creek. It's one of our primary training sites by the Auburn Airport. Okay. And I figured while we're out here, we'll show you one of our pieces of equipment we use for all our rescues in the summer. Sure, absolutely. So this is called a hot seat. Okay. And this is something we use primarily when people get injured on a trail, an extremity injury, they can't hike out. This is what we got. So here's a helmet. All Go right. and toss that on. It's gonna mess up my hair. <laughs> Some people think it looks like a jacket. Some people say it looks like a big diaper, but it just wraps around <laughs> behind you and it'll hold you in nice and tight. It actually is really comfortable, but we'll see what you think about it. So, oh, so put so it on like a, a jacket. Okay. Like so. How's that feel? You feel pretty secure? Yeah, pretty good. Well, you know, we were talking about surprise earlier, Ronnie. When people get put in this suit, you can't get out of it without getting hoisted. No, you're joking, right? Nope. So wait, you're saying that I'm gonna get hoisted up? Right now, we're gonna call him in. <laughs> First time riding in a 
helicopter, or flying in a helicopter, excuse my language, and now I'm gonna get hoisted. So definitely something that I was not prepared to do. But you know what? Like Officer Boots said, you don't get in this without getting hoisted. So I'm all for, for trying new things and experiencing new things on this job. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> so they're gonna bring the helicopter over. It's gonna get real loud. It's okay. gonna get real windy. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. And a little cold, you got your jacket. So they're gonna lower the hoist hook down and we're gonna hook it up to this big ring right here. Okay. okay. You're gonna hold on to your handles. Just, just so, okay. Yep. Once they pick you up off the ground, you're just gonna bring your, both your knees up to your chest. Okay. And just enjoy the ride. H20. Yes, sir. Come on in. Ronnie's ready. Word. Hey, we just came back and I had a blast. So thank you so much for taking me out. Glad you had fun. Glad you had a good time. Thank you so much. Hey, so I learned a lot. I know you learned a lot about our helicopter program in our air operations unit. So now we're gonna go hang out with the fixed wing crew. So let's go.